All right, welcome everyone, Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Demon Slayer, Season 4, Episode 1, mm-hmm. A New Arc. A new and arc. a lot of things happen at the end of the last season where it's like, okay, mm-hmm. we now know what the main goal is for the enemy. Yeah, we have, a, we, have a, we have a status quo, complete and total shift in that Nezuko mm-hmm. is basically the, the chrysalis, the apotheosis, the, yep. the, the final item that uh, Muzan would need, right. but also has the, the key to potentially saving demons as a whole kind of within uh-huh. herself, but also we'll need to see how that's used and explored uh, coming up here. Uh, but, yeah, arc completed... Mm-hmm. Uh, Tanjiro and company maybe reuniting and having a little bit of a breather for a bit would be nice. I, I know that, that this is going to be a shorter season, so I'm mm-hmm. guessing the conflict will be very minimal, Probably. if any. And um, quite frankly, so yeah. I'm totally like up for that because I missed having our main two boys with Konpachiro last yeah. season. So... You know, yes. getting back to like the trio just faffing about and goofing just off. Goofing off. I mean, yeah, we've definitely got a a very serious, you know, you know, like goal in mind. You know, right, right. But uh, that being but first, said, you know. you know, but but first, yeah, let's let's get up antics and shenaniganery, and maybe you know, copious consuming of food. You know, yes, that that would definitely. be that would be wonderful. And some snoozing. I get the feeling there will be some snoozing, and probably some strategizing and planning because <laughs> you know, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of <laughs> right, course, right, no, right. very seriously yeah. here that uh, we know in, in in a lot of ways, like that. Hey, we can take out upper moons. Like, that's yeah. pretty nuts. That like, is pretty crazy. Like, Muzan's core effectively it's got fucked slashed. Yeah. Uh, uh, last season. Mm-hmm. So let's let's keep this rolling. So, yeah. yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, we got a squad. Yeah. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> that bait. Nice. Okay. I love the idea that anytime Muzan's creating demons and stuff, if they're not strong enough, they're effectively a liability that could be a trail back to him, potentially. Uh-huh. To say nothing of the fact that he does have to actually give up some of his, you know, vast power in order to make them. Right. Dope. <laughs> it's also just a fun way to explain why there are, you know, like, a lot of the DN... D- oh, oh yeah, shit, yeah, it is all right. the biggest trap. Well, crap. Just like that. Nice. Maybe it was a trap. Serpent in wind. All right. Maybe uh, they weren't expecting Hashira. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ooh. Damn. Quick work. I love how lethal the swords are. Like, mm-hmm. so oftentimes it's like, I can't cut his skin. And this is yeah. just like, nope, nope. Yeah. Were they like dropped in from the uh, the the uh, oh. the the dimension, the pocket dimension? Maybe. Whoa, whoa! Just all of you in front of me. Yep. Oh, I love, I love seeing you know <laughs> duos fight in this regard. Yes. Just for the neck of every single one. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Oh. Oh. These look a little different. Yeah, they're like more ghoulish than. Come after me, you fools. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> surrender and die. <laughs> Impeccable style. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Choose, Spider-Man. All right. Hey, oh, nice. Yeah. 
What's on the other side? Yep. Oh, yep. fuck, I, I had a feeling, I, yeah. yep. I had a feeling. Oh no. And it's yeah, just gonna keep- you're, you're screwed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, they got shunted out. Oh, you're lucky. You are very lucky. <laughs> That's huge. They saw the yeah. lair and they escaped. I don't even think they escaped. I think they were shunted out. Well, right, but like that's that's at least some information now. Uh yes, they get to pass this along. Right. I like that after all that crazy action now it's like okay. Relaxing time. Right. This, as the sun rises we relax, we have peace. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a big deal. She's got to be so happy mm -hmm. to be able to just hang out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a training arc. Okay. All right. That that tracks that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep, good idea. Oh, that was yeah. the whole point of that place was how secretive it was. Right. Oh, perfect. Nice. Cool. That's really smart. Because mm -hmm. the demons can't freely explore. They have to only go at night, you know? Right. And they have to be able to return to wherever they were. これ一番聞きたかったんだわ。妹が偉いことになってるらしいけど、大丈夫なのか。あ、僕。今調べてもらっているんですけど、わからなくて。人間に戻りかけてるのか、鬼として進化してるのか。おお、ちょ、あ、
a little bit okay. of recap here mm -hmm. visually. No, oh, no, no. Uh, okay, there it goes. Well. Truly, we are all doomed. Mm -hmm. Yada yada. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I can give a nice, thorough... More concrete details. Mm-hmm. We need to push us all to the brink of death. We must eat food copious amounts with Tanjiro nearby screaming at us. True. True. Okay. Mm, tied to the past. So protecting another person. Fun. Because then it's more of like a burn than a blood thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which ties into the whole flame and sun stuff that's been going right. on with... Uh... Get a super high heart rate, get a, te you know, feverish temperature. Some of these, I think, might have difficulty getting their heart rate to 100 or to 200. Oh. What? You're getting, like, conscripted. You're going to be sent out. You're, you're going to have to face Muzan, like... Oh, possibly. Like, you will probably end up dying. あまねどのも退出されたので失礼する。おい待て。失礼すんじゃねえ。俺には関係ない。関係ないとはどういうことだ。貴様には柱として自覚が足りぬ。俺はお前たちとは違う。気に食わねえぜ。前にも。Oh
作者名も何も刻まずただこの文字だけを刻んだ前の戦いでこれを使った時は文字がなかったようなだからそれは第一だってないのに<笑>今もまだ傷が治りきってなくてずっと涙が出てる I'm in constant agony <笑>、yeah. でも怪我のひどさならこいつの方も負けてないっすよ体中の骨折れまくってるしこいつあ、really? So now I know where to strike. Yeah, yeah. He's weak enough for me、yeah. to kill him. <laughs> right. <laughs> This is the price of being buff for a season and then、right. also、uh -huh. uh, sitting there and continuing to forge it or despite being it, like, attacked. attacked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had to regrow half my body, dipshits. Let me sleep. Hey! Go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I never would have expected that energy、other. from him. And something or other! <laughs> Very proud that he has no idea. Right. He's focused on training. Nothing else is important. But they have no way of gathering that information, yeah. Right. Oh, sure, because if both sides are amassing their forces. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, you've already convinced us. Yeah, let's do it.、Mm -hmm. oh, oh, shit. Let's go. I'd love to meet some retired Hashira. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. Right, what's your deal? What are you doing? He's like, didn't you know this was my character development arc? Right. Oh, you're gonna move from Hashiro to Hashira? That's、okay. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. He still hasn't forgotten. Yeah. A new mark extends across his forehead. That's extra days of training! Yeah, yeah. Definitely not. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. Yes, yes. My Kohei, my little student,、yep. yes. And then he sees Inosuke again. He's just like,、Tch. ah, a retired Hashira. Here we yeah, go. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Yeah, because he, he can't, like, he kind of looked like,、um, like Tengen for a second. It is Tengen. No, it, it is Tengen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because、yeah. yeah. he had to retire after that crazy fight. Right, 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 right. Of course. I would never get that say, voice, you know? I was gonna say, how many retired Hashira can there be? Because most of them, like. Hey! Oh my lord! That's all the motivation I would need right there. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. I really thought they were gonna do a particular joke there. <laughs> like, show、yeah. the rice balls bouncing and getting, like, squid, and then show something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, they could have totally thrown that into that sequence. Mm hmm. God. I miss Rengoku, but this is my favorite Hashira by like,、oh, absolutely. A, like a mile. Oh, cool. Let's go through all the all different、right. pieces here. Oh, Sada. Sada. <laughs> Just <laughs> muscles. Don't worry, I'm sure your wives will help you with your own endurance training. 
He's getting a sauna! Just stretch! Crack! Ah! Yeah. They're underneath like a gigantic waterfall. Right. <laughs> well, his, his just aura is so yeah. wild. <laughs> Message! Message! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel like some good final words. Yeah. Meanwhile. Oh, no. Oh, her. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Tamayo? Whoa. This voice.人間の人脈ですね。あなたが勝ったこの家の元の持ち主を特定しました。ユシロは。ユシロ君は心配いりませんよ。走ってくる足音が聞こえる。God, <laughs> cool. All right. OP time. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Cool. I like yeah. it. I really Man, he's like got a song. butcher's blade and like a full on just mace. Oh shit. Okay. Nah, nah. No way we get even. No close. shot that's happening this season, though, no right? No way. Like... Hi. 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 しのぶさんは厳しいところは厳しいけれど、思いやり溢れる人なんだ。以上、大将こそこそ噂話でした。次回第2話、水柱富岡義勇の痛。ああ、コール、コール。So <笑> We're going into a training arc, but not mm -hmm. just a training arc. We're going to be spending time with each individual Hashira, giving every single yep. one of the Demon Slayers their own kind of form of training here. And, and Gyu's not going to be involved in it for some kind of personal reason. Right. And, and I'm excited to have that kind of done there because the best thing we can get out of this arc really, other than just general character focus, is actually really pointed Hashira of character focus. Exactly. Because we don't really have enough to care about most of them. Nope. And like, so that's like, really needed if we're going to have a high stakes, you know, big battle exactly. you know, coming next. And I, I, so I kind of, I really like this decision in mm -hmm. a lot of ways because I feel like the, once they, re, like, once they did, ah, we're going to double up with the Hashira focus in mm -hmm. an arc, it didn't really work as well for me. Yeah. Whereas, like, when it's like, okay, we have the one Hashira, okay, cool, I'm able to get a lot more attached to them and be invested oh, in Oh, God, what's we got so attached to Tengen. Yeah. Tengen. Yeah. It was fantastic, Tengen, right? in some ways, just kind stole of our hearts, stole you know? our hearts. And in some ways, like, Rengoku's loss was really well felt, but his was all entirely in a movie. Right. So we in some ways more felt the loss of that bright light rather than this mm -hmm. character that we knew very well. But Tengen, we got to know very well. Yep. 
And, and so we need that at least on a fractional level with right. some of these other Hashira. But it makes sense that, yeah, you can't just have an arc for each Hashira and things like that. One, no. there aren't enough, you know, uh, upper moon, you know, demons <laughs> to go through. And two, we've kind of gone through them enough to the point where, like, the feelings of tension from when they show up is much less than what it was originally, True. right? Yeah. And so, yeah, you got to do something up, shake things up. Yeah. And so having it be a training arc, I like that. Both yeah. sides are gearing for war. I straight up was wondering if the opening bit was just going to be the the, the two Hashira that like were at the place and chasing the demons. If it was just going to be, nope, they get swelled up in the dimension and they're gone, and the, and we you never know, hear from them we again. never hear from them again, right? You know. Yeah, I I thought that that would make sense potentially for uh, Iguro, the serpent Hashira, mm -hmm. but for Sanami, we are definitely setting up some big things with his character and yes. Genya, so probably not going to see him die anytime right. soon but um, so now but yeah here's here we have something where it's the okay and like it's a short season cool mm -hmm. you know and so we can go through the training where it's the yeah it like with where our main characters are at they wouldn't really feasibly be able to fully contribute in like an all-out war fight right so let's get them to that point and along the way we'll get to know the hashira cool right and it's probably a lot of setup for you know slaughtering our protagonist mm -hmm. cast. Which I am very excited about. Because, so. because the Hashira, we can't really afford to, like you're saying, develop all of them. Right. Um, and in some ways, that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. The idea that Gyu's going to be maybe the main focus for this arc, I actually really like. I because like of yeah. the complications of the way he was introduced in season one. Mm -hmm. He had a very interesting contradiction with the way that he responded to Tanjiro and Nezuko's transformation. Yep. And I'm very excited to see them go into that, but also from the idea that he's saying, I'm not like the rest of you, but this is with regards to Hashira giving out training. So Gyu right. is basically saying, I don't have the same things to give as what you guys have. So I'd, I'd love to know why he thinks that as well. Uh -huh. It might just be that he's the weakest Hashira, I doubt Possibly. that's the case. I could see that being the case. There was a part of me that wondered if it was that, like, them learning this was, like, caused him to realize, oh, I actually have gotten my, you know, scar tattoo thing, you know, Mark appearing earlier, and I just didn't think much of it, you know, or something like Maybe. that. Maybe. But, yeah. I do think, though, that his connection to Tanjiro from those moments needs to be explored, which seems right. like we're going to be getting in the next episode. Yes. So that's where we're at from the primary serious side of things mm -hmm. with a setup of, hey, there's some stuff that's clearly been foreshadowed with regards to um, uh, like sun breathing and stuff. We've mm -hmm. got some very clear stuff being set up there. The idea of the heat within a person, the heart rate, the combination basically of uh, resonating with people, then having a tie into what breath really is with regards to their breathing techniques mm -hmm. in that it's basically sending oxygen to the blood you know like we oh, have that's, we, I hadn't we thought have about that. we have something that may be built into the very nature of where demon slayer rides the line between being a full fantasy or more of like a half fantasy where the demons are the ones that have the fantastical powers and the Demon Slayers basically have very colorful demonstrations of their just actual real sword techniques. So if they're going into it where it's the, no, now actually the Demon Slayers are going to have some kind of fantastical upgrade. Yeah, regard, some power That will be whatever. grounded in some pseudo, you know, science or what have you of, hey, if yes, if you could put your breathing up to a certain amount and get your heart rate to a certain amount, maybe, yes, we can trigger that, um, that body breaking its limits kind of thing there and then sure. all the characters limit break basically but it could you know theoretically kill you because yeah and yeah, the body isn't meant to be in that state that was one of the other things that i thought was kind of odd about this episode mm -hmm. not the fact that they had all the exposition but then that in this very exposition episode mm -hmm. when it comes down to the hashira like talking and stuff we actually skip past a lot of the details mm -hmm. now the, it could just be them deciding we're going to be doing some training and this is how it's going to go. That totally makes sense to yeah. skip because we see that later. Right. But there was another aspect to it too where there was it was like, here's something that is very important that may be, you know, like, I don't know. It, I think it's primarily because there's some things that are being saved for the dramatic reveal that 
we'll have. Sure. But most of the actual stuff that from a meta perspective they would actually talk about are the boring things of yeah. we've determined based on the way that Tokito brought it up that these were the things that he measured as being important. Right. Um, but the actual way to bring that up out we don't need to go into that. That can be done in the individual episodes of the training themselves. Well, individual episodes of the training themselves and or because like given that um, the stuff that we got with the marks appearing on the two Hashira from the previous season yeah. was in the middle of a fight as they're having a character moment makes right. sense. That's a that's a that's a way to add extra emotional power basically to sure. the scene. Right. Yeah. Um, and if this arc in a lot of ways is addressing the fact that, hey, we can't introduce you know four more hashira in the middle of the final battle that might drag things down a bit this could be the we're introducing them here but we're saving the the more critical information so that that way we can still have we can still realize like maybe it's some big sacrifice or something to or maybe maybe you know I, I think that for the most part yeah it's just setting up that there will be a part of it that will be narratively impactful later. Yep. And then for now, it's also the stuff that's kind of boring, so we need to focus on it here. Because right now, basically, the main two Hashira that we have very little characterization for are the Serpent and Stone Hashira. Right. The other ones, we've always we've already gotten little bits here and there, mm -hmm. um, but the ones that probably need the uh, additional extra stuff with regards to their past and story like that is uh, Gyu and Shinobu. Right. Um, those two in particular have this feeling of being a little bit separate from the group in a weird way. Well, because they were uh, they were introduced in uh, in, season, in one. season one, yeah, and and specifically introduced separate from the other Hashira. Mm -hmm. I, I, at least I believe so for Shinobu. Yeah, before I know before we got into um, before we got into the actual point where we met all of them and produced, right. and introduced Nezuko to all of them. Yeah. So it it, it yeah. like. That is a very um, sort of intentional, I guess, separation in the minds of the audience that the you know creators made, where it's the, hey, here's two in particular to basically focus on as we're getting to know all the others. Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, a little mini highlights this episode. Um, fucking Inosuke coming mm -hmm. in and screaming his name to Nezuko so that she'll like remember it. To yep. the point that it's the only name that she actually like has retained mm -hmm. thus far. Yep. So when she tries to say basically hello named person to Zenitsu, she calls him Inosuke. Yeah. That is that is not just good comedy. That's like peak Nezuko comedy with mm. regards to Zenitsu. Because Zenitsu's joke has been played out. Yes. He is not funny to me really anymore. Right. But I, He wasn't but, the one I missed in the last season. No, no. <laughs> yeah. But... The idea that you can use him to react strongly to the comedy is a good way to use Zenitsu's gag, basically, right. of him constantly being hypercharged, pun and, very much intended. And was Inosuke, you know, telling Nezuko just his name over and over again because he's like, hey, you know, I'm important and awesome and I want you to remember my name. Or is it also maybe that he's specifically wanting to just, you know. Fuck with Zenitsu. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's no way to maybe know. Maybe both. Who no knows? No way to know. Yeah. Only Who thing can we possibly know is that fathom Inosuke that Inosuke is mask. definitely the person that listens to remember the name like on repeat. But oh, in, absolutely. you know, inserts yes. himself entirely as being, you know, it's just, you know, 10% skill, 15% skill, 5% skill, and skill, and skill, because I'm so skilled, fucking, and no skilled, and no skilled, and no skilled. Right, you right. 5% grit, 50% coming through, you know. Right, 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 yeah. exactly. Uh -huh. And 100% reason to remember the Inosuke. Right. Um, love that, love that. And having uh, the episode kind of cut between Tanjiro kind of giving a random, you know, Demon Slayer. I, I think we have actually seen the guy before, but whoever. Mm -hmm. um, the, just kind of the general recap. That's nice. But then having it also end with the, okay, uh, uh, <laughs> our boy is back, has brought the sword, has combined it with mm -hmm. Rengoku's yep. uh, flame it guard, and now has basically primed our protagonist with the perfect Muzan killing weapon. Right. I am I am I am seeing what you're setting down here, show, and I'm 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 mm -hmm. very I'm very excited to have the underdog protagonist that he is actually like be able to face Muzan with not just this blade from 
ancient times that's yeah, been remade. That has all this lore behind that it. That has all this mm-hmm. lore behind it and everything. But also has fucking Ren Goku's little flame guard, guard there to yeah. be like, you know what? This wasn't you. But, but this is personal, not just for yeah, Nezuko. Exactly. Not just for ruining Nezuko. For, for a lot of And my whole family and everything. Yeah. But we've we've got yeah. a ledger. We've got a ledger that we're coming to you with. It's See, dripping with blood. And there's there's two different kinds of people the in the dead. world. Yes, everything to what you said. But me, all I see is is that after he kills Muzan, the blade will break in the process. And and you know, as as the show ends, you know, we're about to roll credits, right? Yeah. Our boy comes back and he sees that broken blade. I can ask guys just like Yeah. And he just <laughs> pulled, grabs the nearest sharp object and leaps at Tanjiro, you know. Right. You know, a fifty mile leap, you know, just, yeah, yeah. just over to whatever province he happens to be in at the time. You just hear this slow, long Yeah. He just the <laughs> you know, the the sword breaks in the Ting, and it's like not even that loud a sound, but ting, ting, it echoes, it echoes, and then suddenly and he just <laughs> like <his> mask, it, <laughs> line yeah. art, and everything. That way we can, you know, end this show with a joke as well, and that's yeah, that's probably the most replayed gag other than Zenitsu that I actually really do like in mm. Demon Slayer is the Tanjiro keeps fucking breaking the swords, yeah, and this guy's just like. <sighs> Why? Because we why we know, won't you handle it properly? Right. Why can't you just fight demons that don't have you know titanium skin? Well, and and more importantly, why can't you maybe you know fight with more than bang, wow, boom, pow, <laughs> going through your head? You know, <laughs> don't you know how to deflect at this point? You don't have to block every yeah. attack. <laughs> Make sure the angle is correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but okay, Kagaya is dying. Mm-hmm. Um, the last bit of his will is passed on to yep. our 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 uh, our Hashira, and now we go into a training arc. And we do. I, I will say, given that we're in for a training arc, I am tempering my expectations for this season, given that it's eight episodes. I am too. Yeah. At the same time, I feel like I've gotten fairly used to slower pacing from Demon Slayer. Mm. And so now I feel like we are actually going to be an arc where it feel will feel justified. <laughs> sure. You know? Like, sure. Like, like, <laughs> sure. Cool. Cause they're training. They're training. Right. You know? right, That's, right. Yeah. But it could be really slow. It could be. It could be, <laughs> it could really, be. really slow. But hey, if we get plenty of comedy with Inosuke, I, I won't have I much to complain it. about. Yeah, that's you know? true. That's true. But all right, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you get on early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.